Hello. Here we are um, back at the property. This is all curbside per the, um, I don't know, whatever it's called, the writ of restitution, writ, writ of something anyways with the judgment. So personal belongings that were salvageable, that we were able to salvage for them, they, um, they are welcome. <laughs> so we had to put it at curbside on public property for them to pick up. So that's what we did. Um, and I think, and Alan said he's gonna come and get the motorcycle, he wants that. So there's my graffiti work over the um, bad graffiti that was there. And we purchased the property at the auction. They were pretty upset, so they wrote some foul stuff on there. Um, so I just, for right now, got some spray paint and, got, and covered over it <laughs> until we could do something different. Um, I just got the same colors they used to kind of camouflage it. So there's the um, trailer with the add-on that is getting torn down and prepped for a burn. That'll be removed completely. And sorry, my car's in the way there. Um, let's see, we have the garage. Oops, my he closed it already. I was gonna show you the inside. We cleaned it out and it is now out there on the, on the side of the road, but that's okay, I think you've seen it. It's actually a two-car garage. The first video showed it as one garage with a wall on the second part and a door. It's actually a two-car garage, but he removed that and made it back into what it's supposed to be. I know the yard looks horrible, but there's a lot gone. We've taken um, a 16-foot dump trailer, two, two or three loads of metal already to the scrap yard, three or four giant heaping dump loads to the, oh, to the dump, and there we go. There was the two sheds that were right here. They are torn down. They were disgusting and filled with I mean, it was just rat nest galore in there. So all gone and down. I can give you a quick view of the outside. We're not gonna go inside because it is empty now, except for all the mouse poop on the floor, which is disgusting. I, I really don't wanna go walk through it, but also it's completely boarded up now. I didn't get here before my husband boarded everything up to do that walkthrough. And it's dark because there's no electricity. And I tried to look through the hallway with a flashlight and it just was not working to give enough light without shadows and it was just a dark video so going to be so i canceled that out and but i will look around the only two vehicles that are on the property now are mine and my husband's all the other vehicles including that boat's gone so that's good yay um oh boy sorry that was fast slow and steady so there's the burn pile that was ongoing feeding for about a week as we worked um, and that's all the burnable stuff and but you can see there's still a ton of work that needs to be done we are focused right now on cleanup only just clean up no rehab at the moment just clean up but from the first video to this video a lot has been done as you can see so i know there's not a lot here to show you because i'm not going inside of either one um, that trailer is not going inside of because it's being dismantled some of the parts can be um, reused the metals the, the metal sheet the roof she roofing oh my gosh what is it called metal sheeting no metal roofing whatever it is anyhow but it is getting cleaned up and all those tires are gone there's like I don't know one or two left behind that's it so hopefully they come and get their junk I'm not really sure who's responsible after this I have to call the county to find out um, if it's us, I need to know what the time frame is so I can get it out of here. There you go. See you on the next round. Bye.